Welcome to the Ohio State University. Welcome to the Ohio 4-H Center. I'm Dr. Bob, the science guy for Ohio's 4-H program, and I'm your host today for our water windmill challenge. The challenge is to create a windmill system that is capable of supporting the weight of three gallons of water. Working in small teams, students use everyday materials such as pegboard, craft sticks, wire ties, and dowel rods to build the power generator. It is tested by supporting a bucket filled with water until it fails. Hello, I am Susan Search, and I am a seventh grade science teacher at Circleville Everts Middle School. And I brought my seventh grade students that completed a STEM day activity for our science fair. I brought 49 of them here today to participate in the Ag Innovators Water Windmill Challenge. Um, our goal today is uh, really to bring into um, in the nature of this idea of, of water and the availability of water for our farming operations, both in Ohio and across the Midwest. You'll notice the student interaction today. They're working in teams of two. And the exchange is going on where they're trading ideas and kind of taking an idea out for the spin and maybe it might work or maybe they have to begin to modify it. And those are those learning skills that they don't necessarily get in a formal classroom setting. Um, well, we tried it the first time and we had the lanyard hooked up here and we got to 14 cups and it, the lanyard fell. So now we're trying to I like put the lanyard on the pencils to make it sturdier than it was. First, we have to remember that, that STEM is an acronym for Science, Technology, Engineering, and Math. And we at the College of Food, Agriculture, and Environmental Sciences, STEM is really our, our mainstay. The mission of 4-H is to uh, engage youth in a, in a variety of learning opportunities. And one is an opportunity like this to get them to, to think about science, not as a, an area of content or a discipline that they might learn at, for 50 minutes a day, but for something that really becomes a, a, a part of their life. It could be a career. I'm constantly telling my students that they need to do things in STEM, that their careers need to be focusing in on science and math, and they need to really focus in on their math skills and their science understanding, because I feel that those, those areas will be careers that will last till they retire. So I feel that that will make them competitive, they will be satisfied with what they do, and they will ultimately be prepared for whatever they want to do later in life. What do students learn from this challenge? To work together and like you got to listen to other people's ideas and like their ideas might be better than yours and if you put them together it like really makes something. 